welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I am your host, Scott Bernstein. We want to go back out to Philadelphia one more time. We might be going out there more. But this is our third time in the last 72 hours to give some updates on the big fight from Friday night at Chickie and Pete's. Give a little bit more context, clean a little couple things up that uh, we weren't um, perfect on. We always want to correct the record. So I want to start off by uh, just a little housekeeping. Uh, we said that Joey Baldino was somehow related to the Changalinis and the Nar uh, Narducci. He's, you know, Bill Narducci's his uncle. But uh, I, I uh, you know, made a statement that that he was also related to the Changalinis. That is not true. But he grew up uh, down the street from them. And he was very close with them from a young age. They've known him his whole life. So I think at one point he might have called them uncle or aunt the way that, you know, in a close-knit community, sometimes you call people that aren't your uncle and aunt, uncle and aunt. Nonetheless, I uh, wanted to get that out. I also wanted to um, just kind of further, you know, pull out for a second. Um, and give a little bit more macro than a than a micro view. You know, there's a, a lot of conjecture, a lot of uh, people sharing opinions, and and I think there's sometimes there are things that uh, people are crossing signals, and people think they're saying one thing when they're saying another thing. So there are, like I said, there are like two or three different situations at play here, uh, and I want to be clear that. The situation that led, or the, I should say, the fight itself wasn't really mob related in the sense that it's true that it had to do with Joey Baldino and Mike DiBella acting out um, at Chickie and Pete's. There had been a history of behavior uh, that I'm going to clear up in a second um, about them kind of harassing. The, the Changalini's nieces. Um, and from what I understand now, I've been talking, uh, I, in the last video, I talked about um, an altercation that preceded, or two altercations that had preceded the Chickie and Pete's fight. Uh, and now I'm told that one of the Changalini's nieces was present um, at two of the three, Two of these two things that led up to the Chicky and Pete's altercation. Uh, first was the fight at the Philly Live Casino, um, and then there was an, an incident before on the same day, last Friday, uh, in the hours preceding the fight. One of the Changalini's nieces, not the niece that got almost knocked unconscious and had to go to the hospital, the one that was. Uh, kind of looking after the place in Tenny Bar, another niece um, was with her boyfriend and got on a motorcycle and got run off the road, allegedly either by DiBello and Baldino or by people connected to DiBello and Baldino. Um, this boyfriend and another guy, uh, the, the people that I've referred to in the past as, you know, two connected guys that are kind of behind the scenes in some of this, um, who have been feuding with Baldino and DiBello, then uh, showed up at Chickie and Pete's and an altercation ensued that was verbal, that turned physical. It appears that there's a video out right now um, of, of what was going on inside. Jeff Nadeau's Sit Down News posted it first. And in that video, it appears that at least after things were getting out of hand, Joey Baldino did appear to be trying at some level to de-escalate things. And he was arguing with Mike DiBella about what had just happened. And what had just happened was the issue with, with uh, Johnny Chang and another niece getting almost knocked out, if not knocked out. Um, and DiBella was really out of control. And Baldino, I think at that point, realized the situation had gone completely haywire and was trying his best to get the Bella out of there. But by the time they reached the parking lot, there was more chaos. But 
uh, Joey Baldino, I don't think was involved in any, I should say, I don't think, I know was not involved in a direct assault on Johnny Chang. I don't believe so. Uh, this was Mike Gabella, but the situation leading up to that was all Joey Baldino. And like I said, there's other things at play here that will get, you know, that will come out in the next, I think the next couple of weeks, but there was the, the fight at Philly Live Casino. There was a break-in, there was a shootout, and then there was an altercation where this motorcycle got ran off the road early Friday evening that all preceded the fight at Chickie and Pete. So I wanted to be very clear with that. Um, and then really, even though the issue, I think at the core of what turned, you know, what broke this brawl breaking out was disrespect for the Changalini's nieces and disrespecting the place, Chickie and Pete's, and then disrespecting Johnny by mouthing off to him. And Johnny smacked Mike DeBella. Uh, and then it looks like Mike DeBella went back at him and, and also hit the niece. Not exactly sure where, where Joey Baldino uh, played it, uh, played a role in that other than trying to remove Mikey DeBella from the situation. But what I will say is that it might not have been a mob situation in terms of the, the fight at Chickie and Pete's, like the actual fisticuffs. It might have been a disrespect situation. But now it's a mob situation. So that's really three different scenarios because now because of the disrespect to Johnny Chang, because of the disrespect to the to the nieces, because people were struck and assaulted, now it does become a mob issue. So I wanted to say that. And then, um, I, you know, th th that's me kind of calling it up from what we know right now. I wanted to straighten up the record with some of that stuff. So that's where we are right now as Monday turns into Tuesday. We'll have more news coming out very soon, I'm sure, whether it's related to this break-in and shootout that I'm hearing about or uh, other fall, you know, other things that are, are fallout from, from this uh, Friday event at Chicken Feet. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out. Thank you.